morning, Cam at Sterling Garden Services. Uh, today we're off to do a little hedge. A couple of them actually, they might be a little bit overgrown. We'll see when we get there. Uh, hopefully there's not too much stuff growing over the neighbor's fence that we have to clean up. I suppose we'll find out when we get there. But we've got all the Husky battery gear on board. Should be plenty enough to get through this little job. So we'll see what it looks like when we get there. Cheers. Morning, Al. Morning. Running How a bit late this morning, mate. Where are we? Running a bit late. When you go places and you realise you haven't got a ladder, you've got to come back and get it and stuff like that. Oh. I thought you would have had a couple of boys here. No, no, just me, man. Yeah, Cameron, clear wants it as close to the top right back. Yep. as far as possible. Yep. Yep. Down as low as you can go, yep. both sides. Yep. And the fence and she wants it yep. in our boundary. Yep. And there's a reason. Okay. Hey, that's all. Yep. You know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'll piss off and leave you alone. Okay, mate. When you get to the back, I'll give you, well, I'll presume I'll be taking it to the tip. Yeah, yeah. I thought so. So, we'll have to get the trailer out. I okay. just can't do it at the moment. Yep. I'm in worse condition than I've been in. No worries. All right, man. Okay. Well, I do like your camera out the front. Sorry, mate. I like the camera out the front. It's good, isn't it? That's making sure you're working. back this hard but um, they're quite overgrown they've been cut back hard before it is not often enough so a couple of good feeds a bit of love they'll come back all right they always have You might have overheard the client mentioning about stuff that's trimming that's over the fence. I reckon between overgrown gardens and dogs, they're probably the number two, number two, probably the number one major complaint between neighbours that starts to sour relationships. Just looking at the backyard, it's going to be the same out there, I reckon. Like there's some pretty overgrown stuff hanging over the fence. Might get behind it with a chainsaw and clean it up, but we'll see how we go. Just looking at these side edges, looks like it's going to be a pretty hard trim on the front. We might have to get down the back, I reckon. Have a bit of a go down there. This potostrum's going to be the same. Probably have to get down the back. Yeah, definitely. Some good room underneath, get good access. You should be able to poke the trimmer up through there. Shouldn't need a chainsaw.
This is one of those instances where just trying to reach the back of the hedge to improve a bit beyond the length of the trimmer. So you can either get a bigger trimmer, get a bigger ladder, or it's easier is just to pop in behind the fence, between the fence and the hedge. Just cut the back of it out, and those bits there will be gone this time and gone for next time. See, just pop down the back of the hedge, just cut it off. It doesn't need to be real neat, you can angle the top a bit, not like you can see it from the front. That took all of two minutes, I reckon, to do that. It would have been an extra 15 or 20 stuffing around with different trimmers and, and whatnot. We're trying to really reach, and you don't need to. So there you go. Little hot tip for you. Just while I'm packing up, we're going to give this job a little a little mow before we leave. It just makes it a little bit tidier. Also aids with the less time on the rake. Um, Again, the battery husky gear, I tell you. If you're not getting amongst this stuff, you're doing, well, you're not doing something wrong, but you could be doing a lot worse. I mean, we weren't here all day. Good enough though, let me see. Look at that. One bar of a battery. And that's only a 300 amp, oh, sorry, no, that's a 9.4 amp hour battery. Um, use to use one bar that's just ridiculous like that's just if I can do that job three more times in a day I tell you like that's just it's good the trimmers worked well some of the costume stuff was a little bit jammy up the back I don't know why that was but as I said these blades haven't been sharpened and they've done hundreds of hours so anyway we'll um Get in there. We'll give that a little, we'll give this job a little mow up just to clean it up a bit more. But um, apart from that, uh, one of the other tricks to do on these hedges, I think, always is, is using the right ladder. Like, that's not our biggest ladder, but it is adjustable to so many different configurations that you can always get to the height you need and just by adjusting the sort of way the legs are set up um, before I get ran over you can alter how close you have to stand to the edge rather than standing off it if it makes any sense um, as I said a bit earlier cutting the backs out of hedges is just it saves you a lot of time in the long run and provides a better looking finish rather than you see a lot where the, the hedge is a bit too high or a bit too deep for the, for the owner or the contractor and they can't get them flat so they angle them up and there's always daggy bits and it just ends up looking terrible. Um, apart from that though, like it's just a nice little job to do. We'll give it a mow, it'll take 20 or 30 minute stops and then we'll be out of here. So I um, hope you got something out of it and if you want to know any more about the Husky battery gear, feel free to drop a message or, yeah, just drop a message and um, we'll see you all next time.